Hey guys, Zazia here, and today I will be doing a sketchbook review. Sorry, I'm kind of freehanding this right now because my stand isn't tall enough to record this huge 9 by 12 sketchbook. And then to the right is the 6 by 9 sketchbook. Just wanted you guys to see a whole view of them before I dive into the actual review. I wanted to include a slight disclaimer. These sketchbooks were purchased quite a few years ago, so I don't know if the company has improved the quality or if it's changed at all. I hope it has. I just wanted to share with you what I had with these sketchbooks. And I'm curious to know if you purchased these, did you enjoy your experience with them? Was the paper quality the same for you? Or the leather? I'm curious to know, please let me know in the comments below. Alright, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Thanks! So, I purchased the sketchbook from Hobby Lobby with a coupon, and these are actually really expensive in my opinion for sketchbooks. I don't exactly remember how much I paid, but um, I if you're looking to buy these or have purchased them, let me know what you think actually if you've purchased them, but if you're thinking about purchasing it, maybe this video will help you, but I didn't have the best experience with these sketchbooks and I'll explain why. So first off, what drew me to the sketchbook was the embossed leather, so it's supposedly buffalo leather which I think is kind of interesting and cool and I definitely plan on keeping this for a long time so it will stay in my house for hopefully my lifetime <laughs> we'll see uh, but anyways uh, I really like the idea that it was like handmade I think this was made in India and the paper is all handmade and hand torn and you'll see those in a, in a bit I really wanted to like this, but I don't know if it was just quality control or what, but things kind of started deteriorating. So I want to also explain that I've had this for quite a few years, but I hadn't used it until recently. So it has been sitting on my shelf, but I just didn't expect the quality to be I wouldn't say bad, but it's not great. <laughs> so yeah, let me go ahead and start explaining things. So I really like the leather. This is great. The only bad thing is that this elastic, yeah, it it broke. Or I don't know, the elasticity is gone. And this is before I even started using it. Like it was just sitting there and it was already losing the bounciness of the elastic and that's really disappointing so uh, there's not really an easy way to replace it other than cutting it off and I've thought about cutting it off but I realize I can just use it and wrap it instead and that keeps it close <laughs> so yeah for how much I paid for it it was quite disappointing so backs is basically the same I still really enjoy this. It's really cool. Okay, so I want to mention these. I don't really know what this is, if it's just being worn, but it's kind of at the edges. I don't know if it's because I messed up. I tried to put leather conditioner on it because I thought, you know, buffalo leather needs to be conditioned, but that might have been a mistake. I don't know, but I haven't done it since and it hasn't gotten worse, so that's a good thing. But that's about it in terms of like where the leather is deteriorating. You can see that. Yeah, so didn't expect that. I thought it would last longer. So yep. Alright. Let's go ahead and dive into the interior. So you can see that these pages are hand torn which I like I liked the um, 
Oh great, the word's escaping me. But the torn edges, I like the torn edges of sketchbooks, so that doesn't bother me. Not really. Okay, so it did bother me a little bit, um, but I'll explain why in my other sketchbook. <laughs> it, I don't mind it when it's a little uneven, but like for instance this one, it was really uneven. But that's part of the charm, so I, I expected this of the sketchbook. So this paper is handmade. I um, think it's made out of cotton, but I can't say for sure because the inform there's no information when I bought this about that. So I'm hoping that this lasts a long time. But I ended up using this sketchbook to paint watercolors. So Initially, I was going to use it as a sketchbook, but I realized very soon that it would pill if I scrubbed too much. So, yeah, look at this for example. Here you can see all that paper fiber is pilling from the paper. And I didn't even scrub that much, in my opinion. So if you're used to using pencil or erasers, I wouldn't recommend the sketchbook for you. But if you use pen or like you're a one-time like line drawer I'm not <laughs> I kind of I erase and like I make these sketchy marks so for if you do that this paper might be good for you but for me when I was trying to use it it was not good so you can see I was actually trying to use up the watercolor I had so I'm probably going to use this as like a journal so like an art journal or a personal journal instead because it takes ballpoint pen and gel pen really well but if you're using um, it doesn't work well with fountain pen not at all um so yeah I wouldn't try to do a lot of sketching on here if you like to do that. I know it's it's a sketchbook so you think that you'd be able to make some erase marks but this paper doesn't do well with that. But it does take these light washes really well. That's why I did it throughout the entire sketchbook. So yeah, if you did, if you scrub too much like I did over here, it's not so pretty. But hey, I was trying to use up that water colors and Eh, it's kind of fun. I mean, it's not super pretty. Like, some of these are nicer, but it depends on the watercolor you have. The one I had was like a student grade, so it wasn't it wasn't something I was trying to cherish, but I was trying to use it up. Don't recommend the student grade <laughs> watercolors, just so you know. But anyways, yeah, this is my opinion of this one. And I want to show you guys the larger one, because actually that one was better in terms of paper quality than this one. Alright, let me switch. Okay, so I've switched over to the larger sketchbook. I was wrong about the size. It's, well, partially right. Wrong and partially right. So this is actually about 12 inches, so just a little shy of it. And then it is eight and a half. So it's eight and a half by 12, roughly just so you know. So this sketchbook is actually, I feel like, better quality than this, the smaller one. I was surprised by that. And um, you can tell that I really like the embossing of the sketchbook. And the elastic actually kept up. This is what I expected when I purchased the other one. So I was surprised when that one just fell apart. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think a similar thing happened here, and maybe it was my fault for using the wrong conditioner, but this is also buffalo leather, and this part started cracking, or falling apart, same on this side. So, but I haven't done anything to it since, and it hasn't gotten worse, so that's a good thing, I think. <laughs> So, the, other than like difference in colors, I mean, that's to be normal, considering leather is by the animal and 
depends on who's use, who's making the leather. So the colors are a little different. This one's more brown. The other one's more red, as you could probably have seen in the first clip. But this paper is actually much better than the other sketchbook, which is weird. Sorry for the close-up. I've actually been using this as a journal, so I don't really want to show you guys my injuries. <laughs> so this was my first attempt of using it as a sketchbook. And here you can see that it's started to pill because I erased it. Then when I started using um, pen, it got, it was better. Like you can see when I use pen versus when I use pencil the paper started peeling up. So that's when I decided I probably wasn't going to use this for a sketchbook, like for a pencil anyways, which was disappointing because that's kind of why I purchased it. And for, I'm not sure how much I paid. I paid at least $15 for this. I think it might have been originally 30 something without the coupon. So yeah, yeah, I don't feel like this was the best sketchbook for me. It could be for you. I mean, if, if you guys don't use pencil and you like the look and feel of handmade paper and leather, then it might be for you. But for me, it was just disappointing. Anyways, let me zoom back out. So this is me also trying to use up the watercolor that I had, the student grade paint. So um, you can see here that when I scrubbed, it made the paper pill again. Oops, sorry, knocked the camera. So not exactly great in terms of scrubbing, but if you're more careful and you let layers dry, I was able to get a lot smoother wash. This is with um, artist grade watercolors. So I found that pretty interesting. This is one of my favorite pages because I use like the iridescent colors. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to share that with you guys. But yeah, I feel like the quality of this paper and this sketchbook was much better than the smaller one, which I found pretty interesting considering they should have been about the same. So ultimately, I've been using this as my journal because I want to make use of this sketchbook while I paid a lot of money for it. And I will probably do the same for the other sketchbook. It's just disappointing considering how much you paid for it and the quality that, you know, I expected. So I haven't purchased handmade paper before, so maybe that was my fault for not knowing that handmade paper would be, or maybe just not as durable. Sorry, I, I was trying to think of words to how to describe it. Oh, let me see if I can find a paper imperfection for you to show you that it's handmade. Hold on. Okay, so here's an example. This is wrinkles in the paper, which I don't mind. I expected that from this paper. So this kind of shows you that it was handmade. Which I appreciate. I appreciate the character of that. And then here's another one. Hopefully you can see it. Oh, sorry, knocking the camera. There is a little clump of paper fibers here, which I also expected. So that's something you might want to consider if you're deciding to get handmade paper. But this, yeah, I'm just surprised that this sketchbook took watercolor so much better than the other one. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of my thoughts about it. You think that for the price you paid for this, it, the quality would be superb, but I can't say that it was. This one is a lot better than the other one, but yeah, you might want to check out other reviews to see what your thoughts or what other people's thoughts are about it before you purchase it. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. Uh, let me know if you want more of these kind of reviews. I've 
I probably have more sketchbooks and notebooks than I probably should, but hey, those are the things I collect and make me happy. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, let me know if you guys have one, if yours is better quality or not. I'm curious to see. I know these, yeah, these sketchbooks are pretty pricey, and there are definitely better ones out there that you should probably get instead. But if you're curious and wanted to try a handmade product, supposedly handmade, I don't. I don't really know how genuine it is, but it made me happy when I bought it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let me know in the comments below. I'm not going to link a uh, link to where to buy this. Yeah, you get it from Hobby Lobby, so, but I wouldn't recommend it, honestly. But I would be curious if other people had better experiences than me. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, subscribe, let me know if you like this content, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!